Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to make profit in trading. Previously, today's shout out goes to them. Thank you for commenting. And let's just go straight to the video. Before you trade, it's a good idea to know the values in this game. That way it will be easier for you to trade. Basically to know the value, you have to know two things. Namely, lowest value and highest value. The first is the lowest value, and as you know, the lowest value fruit is like kilo, spin and other lowest value fruit. And that is the worst. And conversely there is the highest value. For example the highest value fruits such as leopard, dragon and other highest value fruits. And it is really worth it to get. So, profiting means, namely your progress from the lowest value fruit to the highest value fruit. For example from kilo fruit, spike, or spin to the highest value fruit that will benefit you. And so that you can always be profitable, you must first know two methods, namely upgrading and downgrading. Yes, basically, upgrading is when you trade from the lowest value fruit to the highest value fruit. Of course, so that you can trade your fruit to a decent or highest value, you have to have some fruit as capital for you. To get it, you can get it from fruit gacha slash fruit cousin, and fruit hunting, so you can have capital with some fruit. And after that you also have to know the existing values, this aims so that you don't lose in trading and always win in trading, until you reach your final goal. By the way, if you want me to make a video about ranking fruit values, leave it in the comments. Downgrading. Things that traders don't want, and also things, that are very important to know. Basically when you trade Quake Fruit, Magma and Light to Doe Fruit it is upgrading, and this is just an example. And when you already have Doe Fruit, you will think about trading this fruit, in order to get more profit. And if I have Doe Fruit, I will think about how I can get Leopard Fruit and other fruits that have the highest value, so that it will benefit me. And don't let you trade the Doe Fruit to medium or lowest value fruit. For example if you trade the doe fruit to light, magma, and flame, that's a big loss. And there are things in downgrading, that you can do. For example, if I traded the buddha, quake, and light fruit for the doe fruit, now I have got the doe fruit. Then I trade the doe fruit with buddha fruit, quake and magma, this is downgrading. But with this downgrading I should be able to get a lot of profit. After that. I trade Buddha fruit and magma to doe fruit again, and with this, I got my doe fruit back, and I got quake fruit too, and this is a huge advantage. So, that's all guys. Even though you already know the things that I just said, it's better if you always practice, so that you also get experience and other new things. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. If you want to see other cool videos, don't forget to press the subscribe button. And what are the things that make you profitable when trading? Let me know in the comments.